What's going on, everyone? We're back with another top five exclusive right here at MacGuffinPodcast.com. I'm Alan. And I'm Ed. And today on the top five, we will be talking about our top five fight scenes. Now, uh, we have to uh, definitely kind of cut it down a little bit and really specify what we mean by fight scene. Um, for this particular top five, we decided to go with more of the hand... Uh, yeah, hand-on-hand -hand combat. Little fisticuffs. No, uh, no weapons, no guns or anything like that. So we excluded martial art films, uh, battle scenes, war scenes. Pretty much um, like one dude versus like another dude, that sort of thing. No sword fights. No. Right, right. Very limited on the weapons. So um, did you want to start or? Okay. Um, in my number five, I went decided to go a little classic. Okay. Um, I went back to uh, Red River with John uh, Wayne and Montgomery Clift. Uh -huh. uh, Howard Hawks directed it. Now, if you're going to pick a John Wayne movie, most people for a, a, a good brawl would actually probably pick The, um, the Quiet Man because mm -hmm. it has probably the most famous fist fight he's ever filmed. Mm -hmm. But Red River is a really, really excellent movie about yeah. a cattle drive. And... Um, John Wayne's kind of the father figure to Montgomery Clift. Mm -hmm. They have a they have a parting of the ways, and at the end, the the climax has them coming back together, facing off like they're going to kill each other. Yeah. <clears throat> John Wayne needs to even starts slapping him around like, <laughs> like you know, be a man, stop being a pussy, you know. Yeah. Um. It's and it's so emotionally charged. I was looking for fights that meant something. Mm -hmm. And it it's and, and I also like how it ends. How it they get tamped down by a third party. I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I remember uh, seeing this film a, a little while back, and it's a great movie, and it has two great stars in it. And when you see two great stars going head-to-head -head like that, it's it's awesome. Yeah. It's great. Uh, okay, let's move on to my number five film. Uh, my number five fight scene is a little more recent, and uh, I decided to choose this one because of the sheer uh, entertainment value of it. It's a really cool and fun fight scene. Um, it is the fight scene in the car in Drag Me to Hell. Uh, you have Christine Brown, played by Allison Lohman, versus the gypsy witch, whatever you would want to call her, uh, Mrs. Ganoush, played by Lorna Raver. Uh, it's just a fun movie. Uh, <laughs> you have them going at each other, fighting within that car. It's creepy and kind of gross, but it's also funny. Um, you have Alice Lohman stapling <laughs> Mrs. Ganoush's eye. You have the part where they drive into the van, she crashes, and then Mrs. Ganoush falls forward and her dentures fly out. And I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just a highlight in a very underrated horror film. Uh, I really enjoyed that movie. And I mean, like I said before, it's just a fun fight scene. I can't wait. I have not seen this movie. Oh, I've got, I've got it on Blu-ray at home. I bought like used it in. And I keep waiting to watch it. It's kind Sounds of good. a yeah. It's kind of a callback to classic Sam Raimi. Yeah. So love love me some Sam Raimi. Yeah. So cool. Um, well, then on my number four, gonna jump more recent than my last pick too. John Carpenter's classic in air quotes. They live mm. with the classic fight scene between Rowdy Roddy Piper and mm. David Keith, which at the time they they advertised was the longest fight, filmed fight scene ever. Wow. Um, do, you, do you know what I'm talking about? You know what? I actually haven't seen this movie. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm not going to ruin anything other than you know that they fight. Uh -huh. okay. This movie, this is the movie about where aliens have invaded Earth, and the only way to see them is to put on these special sunglasses that let you see them. And uh, Roddy Piper's character is trying to get David Keith to put on sunglasses so he can see him. The whole fight's about... Put on the damn sunglasses. That's the whole thing. <laughs> wow. And so they fight for literally over six minutes of screen time. Wow. They get down, they, they, they get out of breath, they get up again, they keep going, they... Keep One point he's kneeing him in the nuts over and over and over. It's great. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, I've been... I've actually wanted to watch that film for a while, so I have, <laughs> after that... Uh... They, they made fun of it on South Park, too, the cripple fight. Oh, okay. That's oh, I see. All right. I'm definitely going to. <laughs> That's a parody of the. I live. see. All right. Um, moving on to my number four uh, fight scene. Uh, my number four fight scene is a film that I or a fight scene that I chose just because of how stylized it is. It's really cool. Um, it is the fight scene in Snatch. Uh, between Mickey, played by Brad Pitt, Thought and about the, this one? the bare knuckle boxer. Uh, when you think of Brad Pitt and uh, fight scenes and fight movies, you'd probably pick Fight Club. Well, Unfortunately, I decided not to go that route. I decided to go with Snatch because I thought that movie was, um, well, much better than Fight Club. And I thought the character that uh, Brad Pitt played here was 
pretty interesting, you know. You, she, he plays this Pikey, uh, who, when he talks, you can barely understand him. And then he's kind of set up in this uh, crime situation where he has to throw a fight. <laughs> um, it's set up that he's a really good fighter. He knocks people out with just one punch. And um, he pretty much has to let this guy beat him down <laughs> for the entire fight scene. And uh, just from the editing to the style to the camera movement, the slow motion, the way... Uh, Guy Ritchie put that fight scene together is just really awesome, and the way it ends is <laughs> pretty funny. There's so. a recent documentary about the, the real life version of those kind of Irish fighters mm. too. Um, mm. I, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I, yeah, good movie, good choice. Yeah. It was on um, a thought of mine. Yeah. My number three, I had to throw in at least one superhero movie, and there's a lot of superhero movies to choose from, but the one that has a combination of athleticism and and means something is the climax of Spider-Man Two. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. The I fight, thought about this one. the fight between Spidey and Doc Ock, mm -hmm. that starts out on the on the building. Mm -hmm. it, they end up on the elevated train. Doc Ock's throwing passengers out into the towards the buildings. Spidey catches them with his web. Yeah. Then he has, then he yanks the controls on the train. Spidey stops it. <clears throat> it even ends movingly with the with with uh, Peter Parker passing out and the and the characters raising him over his head. It's it's it. it it brought a tear to my eye, quite frankly, by, by the end. It is a truly awesome fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you you already touched upon it, but one of the great things about that about that fight scene is it's not just Spider-Man versus Doc Ock. It's Spider-Man versus Doc Ock. Doc Ock taking those people and putting them in danger, and Spider-Man having to save those people while fighting Doc Ock at the same time. Yes. It's freaking <clears throat> awesome. And then that whole part where he's at the front of the train and he's throwing the the webs out to stop the train. It's just so intense. And he's he's using everything he can to save people. Yeah. Right? It's, and then when they say, "Oh, he's just a kid," I'm oh, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it touches you right there. <laughs> Let's move on to my number three. My number three fight scene. Um, I put in because dang this it's an intense fight scene and it is the scene in eastern promises uh i thought about this one myself this nikolai one. in the bathhouse goes against those russian gangsters aragorn's wiener <laughs> well yeah okay. yeah <laughs> well the thing about most fight scenes where yeah. you have guys that are like in a bathhouse or a sauna or whatever the towel always stays yeah, on. yeah yeah no no it I, doesn't happen this time just freaking flings off and the thing that makes it so intense is Viggo Mortensen is, you know, well, he's butt naked and he only has his fists and the other, the Russian gangsters have freaking knives, you know, and at any point they could just stab him. But Viggo Mortensen takes him out and it's just a really hardcore, intense, like gritty, uh, knock you in the teeth kind of a scene. It's really intense. Absolutely. I love the brutality of it. Really yeah. good pick. Yeah. Really good pick. Well, on to my number two. Um, Arguably one of the best action movies of all time, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm. And if we're going to talk about that, we're going to—I I mean, the, the whole movie's got a crap load of yeah. action. But the one—the one that stood out for me was when he's fighting the big bald Nazi in front of the plane. In front of the plane, yeah. The—the um, uh, the way it's put together, the sound editing in that, when when each punch lands, and you can hear that. Yeah, that's it, kind of that smack and crunch. It's sort sickly. Of thing. Yeah. And and I one of my favorite indie moments of all time is that simple part where he takes it on the chin and his knees wobble before he falls <laughs> it's great physical comedy yeah and then of course the classic at the end where he ducks and the and the bald guy gets it from the, the airplane propeller <laughs> it's, it's 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 fantastic it's intense because i mean you, the propeller's right there next to him i mean at any point and he could trip and just <laughs> land into the yeah. propeller himself it's really intense and man they don't really hold back with the blood no, <laughs> splattering. They yeah. could, you, could, you could use the whole movie, but I'd just pick that scene. Awesome, awesome scene in an awesome movie. All right, uh, moving on to my number two. Uh, when it comes to fight scenes, I think a lot of people will probably mention Fight Club again, uh, and then with uh, Edward Norton's uh, scene where he fights himself. Um, I thought about it, but I decided to go somewhere else. Um, I decided to go with the fight scene that Ash has with his own hand in Evil Dead 2. You gotta give it up to Bruce Campbell <laughs> in that scene. He's flipping, he's jumping, he's smashing himself into freaking things, he's throwing plates around in that kitchen. I mean, it's just one of the craziest and acts hilarious. of physicality, yes, and hilarious, uh, that I've seen in any kind of movie. And, I mean, his hand looked like it was alive. <laughs> it looked like it was really trying to kill him, you know? And um, 
I mean, what kind of fight scene would it be if he didn't, you know, end up chopping it off and putting a freaking, uh, you know, chainsaw um, in its place? It's an awesome scene and an awesome movie. Sam so. Raimi movies make both our lists. Yeah, I mean, sorry, Sam Raimi, he's awesome when it comes to that sort of thing. So, Okay, on to my number one. Honestly, I won't say this is my favorite movie, one of my favorite movies, but I have to give it up for Rocky. Mm -hmm. And it's simply because we're talking about fight scenes. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> you know, and, and the, the, we're, we're talking about the end fight scene against Apollo Creed, which, mm -hmm. spoiler alert, he loses, mm -hmm. which is amazing. The whole point of it actually is, can he go the distance? Mm -hmm. And you want to talk about fight scenes that mean something, that's the very definition of it. The whole point of the movie, the whole point of the character is, can he hang on? Yep. Can and, he prove, him, prove to himself that he's not a bum? And there are a crap ton of movies that, if, that this is one of probably the top five sports movies of all time. And countless numbers of movies have copied this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's. I definitely was thinking about putting that scene uh, into my list. And the beautiful thing, what makes that fight scene the, the best is that with each consecutive movie, the fight scenes got more cartoonish. More ridiculous. Yeah, each of his uh, opponents the became more villainous, <laughs> more like machines. And it just kind of went, it went over the top. And with that film, it was like... It was down, you know. It was gritty. It was all about. It felt. His it spirit. felt real. Yeah, it felt real ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, great scene. Uh, that was definitely one of the ones that I was thinking about for my number one, um, but I decided to go a different route. Um, again, it's another boxing film, and it is the fight scene that Jake LaMotta has with Sugar Ray Robinson. And I thought about Raging putting this Bowl. on my list, so we got it all covered. Yeah, the beautiful thing about this fight scene is that it's it's all psychological. Um, you have Jake LaMotta, who admittedly is not a good person, and he, the only way he can sh like express himself is through violence and physicality. That's why he was so good um, in the boxing ring, but at the same time, he was so bad outside of the ring. And um, at the point of the scene, or uh, leading up to the scene, he's done a couple. He's done some bad things uh, with his family, um, and he was pretty much taking it out on himself. He knew he wasn't going to beat Sugar Ray uh, Robinson. He tried his best, but it didn't work out. And that final round, he was just like, you know what, I this he, he just lets it all out and Sugar Ray Robinson just beats him down. It's crazy. And the way that scene was edited together, the, the slow motion, the, the music and the lack of music, it sort of has this really um, poetic sort of uh, feel to it. It's a, an amazing scene. Yeah, amazing. some of the best editing of all time, one yeah. of the greatest movies ever. Absolutely. So that does it for our top five fight scenes. Um, again, there's a lot out there. Um, please, if there's any that you'd like to mention, let it be known at mcguffinpodcast.com, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. See ya.